Hello everyone, Linus from Screwsoft here. It's time for the last tip of the week uh, of the year, from my side at least. Uh, and I want to end the year with uh, showing you a little bit about reinforcing uh, corbels and how to do it uh, very efficient. So uh, here we have the Revit. I have uh, three corbels here of different sizes. You see the, the different widths and so on. And I have uh, some reinforcement here that I put. So uh, I've done this and uh, constrained uh, the reinforcement to different uh, covers and yeah, other things. So the most important thing here is to to remember to constrain things because then then you will end up with yeah the same results on on all the places. So uh, I would like to put this reinforcement on all these uh, or the, all. We have two other uh, corbels. Uh, so I will go up here to my rebar templates and I will go into my project and save a new um, type. Let's say it's called CB1, so corbel 1. I select this, some information, and you see that we fetch all the information here. Say OK. And uh, yeah. Then I can just select my other two corbels, go to my impact, and instead of going to the templates, I apply the template. Select my template here and OK. And now you can see that we're getting the same, but since this one is, is a little bit uh, uh, less uh, wide, we are getting only a few. Uh, or three, I think it is. Yeah, three uh, stirrups. While this one is is uh, wider, and then we got more. So uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, very quick and um, and easy to use. So with this, I uh, hope that you all will have a very merry Christmas and a happy New Year, and see you again in uh, in next year.